My name is Jeffrey Yang. My name is Max Hollis. And uh, we come from Maryland District 7. And our app was the um, machine learning applied to pollution. So essentially, we used different uh, weather attributes, found patterns in the data, and then we can predict the amount of pollution in a certain area. Machine learning is a very important thing. And it has, it has many applications in uh, industry and commercially. And so we thought what to apply it to. And we thought pollution was a big problem that we could apply it to. And in pollution, there's lots of uh, patterns to detect the amount of pollution in an area. So we use that to detect the amount of pollution in order to like, sort of raise awareness about it. The whole process of coding itself is totally an iterative design process. And what, it, what that means is that you make something and you think it'll work, but it's not going to work. So what you're going to have to do, is you're going to have to look at the code, you're going to have to look at the errors, see the bugs, and you're going to try to fix it. For example, what we found is that it's really hard to have multiple APIs all together, because sometimes they'll overlap and have bugs. What we found is that we had to make sure that our, AIs could be, that our APIs could be compatible with each other, and so that the data could be easily and seamlessly transferred between them, so that our app could uh, achieve its required and desired function. We never used machine learning a lot before this, and we completely explored the, t the Google's TensorFlow JS, which is a machine learning library. Before we did this competition, we've never used it before, so we feel that um, if, as long as you put in the effort and time, you can learn new ways to code.